what's up goddess gang today we are back with another video and today look who we got look who we got look who we okay y'all i need to slow down but listen we got blue sky in the cut and i'm really excited this color on my nails is called deep sea i'm actually still wearing it i'm trying out how the application is on my natural nails and i don't have a base layer all i did was dehydrate the nails and these have been staying off flawlessly i've had them off for a couple of days i saw this color where is it right now it's up on the shelf but the color that we're going to be featuring today it's called pink musk i believe or musk pink one or the other but either way i was looking at that color and i was like you know what this color is beautiful like i want to accentuate it somehow and the nail set that i came up with is a little different than maybe something that i have ever created before to be totally honest just because it's more or less like an inverted frenchie i made a black nail bed and used this pink color to um make the french tip so you guys are gonna see that also we're using some of our transfer foil we have madam glam glue gel uh, the foil gel which worked amazing and we also have the um foils that you guys saw me unbox on a previous video i believe it was a shein unboxing if i'm not mistaken um those those worked amazing I think that the technology of products, the science behind them improves over time. Therefore, the performance and the ease of use improves over time also. And that's how I feel with these foils. They were very easy to use. I don't know if I got them from Shein or from Amazon. Sorry, y'all, I got some hair out here. But either way, they are really awesome. So wherever I got them from in the previous upload, just be sure to get you some because they worked out very good. You guys are going to see that in the end result. And I, I did end up wanting to use the black color, which is called Driven, that you guys are going to see because it was a good contrast color for me and a good background color for me to put my nail foils on top of. So I was very thankful that I was able to do that. And for my accent nails, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. So I just tried to do like a super freehand um, marble and it came out pretty good. I think it came out pretty good. You guys are going to see. I want you to let me know how you think I did. I felt like I was doing one of the worst marbles I've ever done before, but I realized that all the marbles that I typically do, I have done marbles with gel polish before, but typically I will, oh, I, did I say driven? It's called black vinegar. Sorry, y'all. It's not called driven. Um, this one is called driven and it's the purple color that I really enjoy. So sorry about that. But um, I've done, I did this purple set before with Madame Glam colors and it was a gel polish marble but I did like one of those marble techniques where you lay the colors down and then you just like slide them onto the nail or whatever this one I was wanting to go for more like an elegant marble and I think I was onto something with the white but then I wanted to see how it would look if I had white and black and then it just turned into like a whole circus so you guys can let me know how you think I did and I'm not exactly sure what has been inspired me but i have been really into using pearls lately so you guys are going to see more pearls on this nail set and i think this like subconsciously was sort of like a tribute set to my friend ariana you guys know that we have the forever ari project that we are working on and you guys also probably have heard by now that we have our suicide prevention and awareness um our awareness and prevention newsletters so that there's a few more days and the new issue will be coming out um hopefully it's not out by the time y'all see this video because then i would have to backtrack <laughs> but when i'm filming this video within the time that i'm filming this video it will be out in a few days 
So stay tuned for that. And you can always go to my blog site at www.scorpiongoddessnails in order to see all of the issues that we have released so far. There's There's been two issues so far, I believe, or three. Um, it's hard for me to keep up, but that will be coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. We also have a lot of other announcements that I want to tell you guys if you haven't already heard. We have so many. We have announcements about new partnerships that I have been working on. We have announcements about, which you guys know that means more discounts for you guys. We have announcements about giveaways. We have announcements about nail art challenges and all kinds of things. So uh, stay tuned. I'll go ahead and tell you guys more about that later. But for now, I definitely want to thank blue sky colors for allowing us to try these products they're so stunning and beautiful and i i really truly love the fact that this set this 12 piece set that we got from blue sky colors is so versatile because i can imagine so many different nail sets i've featured a few of these colors in some of the videos that you guys are going to see coming up soon and include in this video and i featured them in a couple of previous videos or at least one previous video and what i'm noticing i've also used them on my fingers i have them on my toes the hollywood uh, red carpet is on my toes um what i'm realizing is that this color palette is so versatile that you can do so many different things with it and I almost find myself feeling like I'm going to just create a whole bunch of sets with these colors and you guys are going to see them nonstop. And I hope that you're not bombarded. I hope you don't get offended by it. But with such a broad color palette, I just couldn't imagine not accentuating each and every single color because they are all very beautiful. Like you guys know that I'm obsessed with this fruit twist color. It is so, so, so pretty. And also this neon orange that's called tangerine is very, very, very pretty. And then there's this super soft pink called sweet pink, and it is so beautiful. And I don't know how all three of these colors are so, they're so contrasting, but complementary at the same time. And then there, to have three different shades of red, three different shades of red, it's almost unbelievable and they're all so pretty it would be a shame not to really be able to accentuate each and every single one of them so you guys are going to see more blue sky videos on my channel soon so stay tuned for that but this is the black vinegar color and as you can see it is not fully opaque it's semi opaque it's almost just it's, i would say it's like a 80 20 or something like that if it was a tint but it worked out pretty well. It looks beautiful. What do you guys think? I think it looks beautiful. And so, of course, off camera, I did go in with a second layer on top of that. So, yeah. Anyways, how have you guys been? I feel like I've been talking so much, but I feel like I also have not talked to you guys enough lately. So I don't know if I should just put some music on or if i should continue to talk to you guys now i did go ahead and alcohol prep the nail because i didn't want any residue but with these colors it really doesn't leave any color like you know some of the polishes you'll do an alcohol prep after they cure and it'll be bleeding all over the place i don't really have that problem with these colors which i also truly enjoy but i'm going in with not a not a heaping amount of foil gel but a generous amount to where when it cures that it will have a nice consistent sticky layer if you touch this foil gel layer uh, with your bare hands or at all once it comes out of the lamp then it will ruin the it won't be sticky anymore so be sure to try to do like something like this just use a pair of tweezers try not to touch any try not to touch the foil with your bare hands or at all and try not to come into contact with the foil gel once it comes out of the 
um, the lamp because that will basically deactivate it. It won't work. If there's any natural oils on the foil gel or on the back of the foil, then it will not transfer properly. That's my personal experience. I have been working with these for these foils for a while and I've never been able to get like a perfect end result. And I realized that this is something that you have to be very neat about. Like there's certain times where you can get away with kind of being a little sloppy, but then there's other times like, for example, right here where I didn't lay it properly and I pretty much ruined it. Uh, but anyways, and then there's times where you really have to be like on your best game in order to get the desired end result. So if anyone is struggling with using the nail transfer foils, I definitely encourage this because I think it will help you. It helped me. And on one of the other nails, I did the transfer foil. I think it was the pinky and I accidentally touched the nail and then I tried to transfer something over it and it wouldn't stick. And so that was a fail. And so you guys just be weary of that in case it happens to you.
how do you guys like this set how do you guys like this set i think it came out looking beautiful i'm not gonna even talk about my marble but the angel nails look so beautiful the pearls look beautiful i really like how this set came out and i love the colors from blue sky i know this is not really like a summer set and it's kind of it feels out of season when i was doing it i'm like this feels so fall like it, it's giving autumn but sometimes that's just how we feel i was really proud of myself for being able to do more or less a freestyle set and just accentuate the beauty of the product the one thing i would say that i would change is to make these matte finish instead of a shiny finish but i'm running a little low on my matte top coat so that was the one thing that i would have loved instead because as beautiful as they are i feel like if they would have been flat and not reflective then that would have just it would have captured the beauty so much more but you guys can sound off in the comments and let me know what you think. Be sure to ring the notification bell. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to smash that like button. And until next time, I will see y'all in a new video. And I love you guys so much. I'll holla y'all. Peace.